Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Lenas. You are now watching More Than 20 Days to Jam, a series containing more than 20 episodes which covers all the topics in Jam syllabus. Each episode comprises detailed class, questions, and homework. The questions and homework are from the Flash Lenas Jam application. This makes the app a requirement for this class. Visit Google Play Store or flashlearners.com to get the app. Do you have trust issues? Reach me on any of my social handles for activation guide or inquiries. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to This is episode number 52 of the 120 Days to Jam Use of English with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be taking a look at words that are nearest to meaning also refer to as synonyms. Before I embark on my procedures, I saw a question somewhere else. Yes, and it is a jam past question. One does not know when dash would Die. A. He. B. She. C. D. And D. One. So, one does not know when he will die. Okay, let's. One does not know when he will die. One does not know when she will die. One does not know when they will die. And one does not know when one will die. Which of the following is correct? If you say option A or option B or option C, you deserve to be flogged. The correct option is D. In Concord, one always agrees with one. When you see one, you should always go with one. So, one does not know when one will die. If one prepares well for the exam, one will pass or one will pass. Not he will pass or she will pass. So, one will always go with one. Just like either we always go with or and neither we always go with no and look at this mistake a lot of persons make they will say that the reason why is because even in seminars on tv a lot of big persons that you look up to they make that blunder the reason why is because that is wrong the reason why is that this is the correct statement so the fact that english is popular in the society doesn't make it the correct usage and the first question we have here the new ruler is big hearted in his dealings with the people a proud b cruel cruel c generous and d so one to be big hearted doesn't mean you have a big heart physically it doesn't mean you are so fat like this No, this is the stomach. <laughs> but doesn't mean you have a very big heart. When someone is big hearted, it is used to refer to the person being kind or generous. If you are a kind person or a generous person, we say that wow, this person is big hearted. So big heart means kind and generous. Making option C the correct option funnily enough the priest prayed for the robber who shot him the robber shot the thief the priest rather with probably ak-47 or pistol 
Now, I will expect the priest to arrest him or shout. Or, because he's a priest, we will say, okay, since he's not arresting, he's not shouting. Okay, let him just probably walk away or to treat himself. But what happened? After the robber shot the priest, the priest turned to pray for the robber. This is unexpected. That's why the fact that we don't expect the priest to shoot back or to arrest, probably, but at least we expect him to maybe move, go to the hospital or something else, or at least talk to him. What is this? What did I do to you? For the priest pray for the person. It was so funny. So, funnily enough, here yeah, means unexpectedly. It doesn't mean disappointedly. It doesn't mean timidly, not out of fear or being fearless. It is unexpected. That is what funnily enough is used to refer to. And here it says, the principal told the teacher to stop brobeating the children. To brobeat somebody means to intimidate or force somebody to do something using abusive words or if possible physical force. That is bullying. So to brobeat means to bully. Making option A the correct option. The opposite would have been pampering. But here we are dealing with synonyms and not antonyms. That makes option A the correct option. With this, we come to the end of this episode. And for your assignment, open the Flash Learner's Jam app and answer all the questions under synonyms. See you in the next 